Hey guys, here to give you another project order episode, or episode tutorial. This is non-abundant sums, problem 23. A perfect number is a number for which the sum of its proper divisors is exactly equal to the number. For example, the sum of 28 would be 28, which means 28 is a perfect number. n is uh, deficient if the sum is less than n, and abundant if it exceeds n. Okay, we're trying to find, basically we're trying to find all the sums, or the sum of all the positive integers which cannot be written as the sum of two abundant numbers. So the main rules we're worried about is if the sum of the proper divisors is greater than n, it's abundant, otherwise it's not abundant. So let's get started. As you see, I have it made already. We have a I don't know if you guys read it. We have a max of 28123 because any integers greater than that are automatically abundant through mathematical analysis. So let's go ahead and write that uh, that limit or match or whatever you want to call it. 1, 2, 4. Okay. And we're going to need an array, because what we're going to do is we're going to traverse the array and determine, we'll first find the proper divisors and determine if if uh, the divisors is greater than the index. If it is, we're going to mark true. It's going to be a Boolean array. We're going, we're going to mark true at that index, and I'll just leave it at that for now. So boolean abundant sum yeah it was new boolean and it's going to hold max number of integers then we need a, a divisor sum and a regular sum the regular sum is going to hold all the positive integers that aren't the sum of two abundant numbers and divisor sum is going to hold the proper divisor sum. So what do we need to do now? We need to traverse 1 to the max. So for n i equals 1, i is uh, less than absum.length i++. plus plus. This is going to hold all the uh, Yeah, all the numbers. So divisor sum equals zero, sum plus equals i, because we're adding all the integers together. And divisor sum is uh, just automatically uh, initialized to zero. So now we need to find the number of divisors for any given i. So for n e equals one e is less than i e plus plus. This is checking if e is a divisor of i. If it is, we're going to add to the divisor sum. So now we need to check if the divisor sum is greater than the number itself. If it is, then uh, it will be an abundant sum. So, if divisor sum is greater than i, abundant sum at i equals true. There we go. That is one part of the loop done. So let's go down here. Now we need to go through the array again and determine if a number is the sum of two abundant numbers. So for in i equals 1, i is less than abundant sum dot length, i plus plus. Okay, what we're going to do here is if it is e and i, or e and, sorry, not e and i, e and uh, i minus e. So if it, it'll make more sense once I write it. 
hopefully. So this is going to go through the numbers and is going to determine if a uh, number is an abundant sum. If a number is the uh, sum of two numbers. And if it is, it's going to subtract that number from the sum and it's going to break out of this loop because there won't be any more for that number. We don't want to keep subtracting the same number. Sorry. So down here we're going to system out print we're going to print this the sum is 4,179,871 is that true 4,179 that is true Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. Uh, please subscribe if you want more Project Euler tutorials. Uh, thank you guys for watching again.